All right. All right, dang it. Ah, uh, see. <laughs> we are here <laughs> in Grinnell, Iowa, in the middle of nowhere, and I'm going to show you guys around the new Brownells retail facility and maybe show you their new uh, facility here, but first I got to find the dang place. There's nothing but an ocean of corn out here in Iowa, and I've been lost for about 20 minutes trying to find this place. I'm going to keep looking around, and I'm going to push through some more of this corn, and maybe we'll find it. Let's go. I know I shouldn't have trusted that farmer. Ah, who we got? Ah, okay, here we go. Now we're at Brownells. All right, guys, well, we finally found our way into the facility. You know, that cornfield wasn't gonna lick me, okay? So we're here now. Uh, this is the retail showroom for Brownells here in Grinnell, Iowa. This is their first retail facility. Um, you know, they've been in business since 1939. And I'll tell you what, you know, they've done a lot of stuff with mail order catalogs, done the direct order things through the website they've done over the years and everything. But this is their first actual retail facility. So this has uh, basically an area where the, the customers can come right off the, uh, the street or whatever and come on in and check stuff out and see a lot of their products in person. So we're gonna look uh, around and show you a few things and uh, this is gonna be fun, let's do it. When you first walk in the door, you're met with this you know, initial display here, and I wanted to point this out. This has a lot of Brownells you know, specific products. Um, one of the things that Brownells is known for is putting together kind of like little combos of things that they custom package that are very useful to people for you know, certain reasons. Like right here, we've got a Croil pack and also a JB Borbright. So see, those products normally wouldn't be available together in a package like that and save you a little bit of money unless you got it through a company like Brownells. And of course, there's a lot of interesting uh, you know, things. Obviously, over the years, we've used a lot of Oxford Blue. So that's a cold blue. So you can come right in there and buy your cold bluing and everything like that. So if you're a local gunsmith or a guy that just wants to check out gunsmithing tools and equipment, uh, the floor here is a great place to kind of just get your hands on a lot of those products that you know normally you wouldn't really be able to do that because it was mail order only. So you can't really see the products unless you, I don't know, go to town and talk to your local gunsmith that might happen to have some of them laying around. Another product that they make, Acroglass. Um, this is basically a bedding compound. You guys know we've used a lot of this in our videos over the years. Um, you know, it's funny being here in this showroom. It, it's so familiar. All these products are familiar because I've bought a lot of them over the years and, uh, and everything like that. But, you know, you can get your Acroglass here. You know, your Acroglass release agent, your Alumahide. I mean, they've got a lot of spray-on finishes and things like that. Surface hardening compound. So, you're initially met with this, uh, with this display that kind of gives you an idea of Brownells, kind of little quirky and interesting products that they have available. Let's look around some more. All right, something I want to mention about this display here that I think is kind of important. One of the things that Brownells has always been known for are their like um, firearm specific uh, catalogs that they put together that like if you're a 1911 kind of guy they'll send you a catalog and it's got a whole bunch of cool 1911 parts so their displays are set up very similar in their store so right here we've got a display that has a bunch of different AR-15 stuff so if you're interested in AR-15 parts I mean you've got tools and gunsmithing uh, implements that allow you to you know work on your AR but then also a few aftermarket parts and everything like that so that's smart um, throughout the showroom you're going to see kind of that reoccurring theme that they put things together based on gun design, which is smart because they know that people that are coming in here are probably gunsmiths or at least somewhat wanting to work on their own thing. So the fact that they're still really catering to the gunsmith, which they always have, I think is awesome. And they're also catering to the beginners out there who are wanting to become self-sufficient and working on their own guns and stuff. So that's pretty awesome. I just thought I'd mention that. Let's move on. Guys, AR-15s are really popular right now. A lot of guys that own receivers and things like that that they bought over the years are finally getting around to building some of this stuff out and everything. So um, we thought it'd be cool to show this uh, massive AR kiosk right here. So obviously you can see a lot of very useful things. And one of the things that, that kind of strikes me initially about going into a place like Brownells in terms of a retail facility is the fact that they are really catering towards the tinkerer, the guy that wants to you know, put things on his gun and change things out and, and play around with different things. And obviously you can see their retail packaging is awesome. You know, they've got their own Brownells, bolt carrier groups and things like that that they actually have made for them and everything like that. But then of course, if you just want your Magpul stuff and all your tried and true, your K&S pin sets, 
you know, that's not typically the kind of item you're just going to walk in any general store and probably find. You're not going to find that at Walmart. If, you know, you want to get an anti-rotational AR-15, uh, you know, trigger and hammer, uh, you know, uh, pin set. You're just not going to do that anywhere else. So I think it's awesome that they kind of they kind of see the totality of what an AR owner wants and they put it in one place so you can just come over here and peruse, which I think is pretty dang neat. So let's move on. All right, so again, going on with the theme of things being centrally located, we got some Ruger 1022 parts. So that's awesome that you can walk up and pretty much all of your aftermarket barrels and trigger packs, magazines, little tactical extended levers and things like that, scope bases, charging handles, pretty much any kind of crazy part that you need is pretty much right here. And the interesting thing too is that when you look at a little display like this, this is just a sampling of all the parts that you can get for Ruger 1022 through Brownells. All the stuff that's on this uh, showroom only scratches the surface of the total items that they actually have in their warehouse, which you're going to see in a moment. So, you know, it's interesting. You go back here and, you know, just like a lot of big box sporting goods stores and other things like that, you know, you've got various optics set up that you can demo and they just have them on dummy stocks. You can point them out the window and they've got dummy deer out there by the cornfield so you can get kind of a real world uh, idea of how a deer might look at various distances through an optic you might be considering to purchase. So that's pretty cool that they got this area set up. Of course, they have range finders you can test out right here, which is neat. So you can grab your range finder. Well, I want to try it out. Point it out the window and you got deer down there. You can range find your deer down there by the cornfield. So, you know, little touches like that that really kind of bring that home for a true sportsman, somebody that just really gets it. I think that the cool thing about, you know, Brownells and the way that, that they've done things over the years is, you know, they are gun people. They're Second Amendment, you know, pro-Second Amendment, pro-gun, and they're, they're sportsmen. They get out and they hunt, they, they fish, they do things outdoors, and uh, they're just good people. And, and you really see that in their store. You know, when you come in this retail uh, showroom, you definitely, you, you feel welcome, and I think that's very important. So guys, it would be really easy to um, spend you know, an hour making this video, and we're not gonna put you guys through that, but one thing I want you to understand is the totality of this entire room and everything that's in it. They have everything from ammunition and uh, all different odd types of ammunition. And of course, here we've got like basically a little uh, display that's set up with different cleaning materials, oils, solvents, lubricants, you name it, cleaning kits. Uh, of course, across from me here, there's a whole display of magazines and everything like that. Uh, Brownells is actually manufacturing their own AR-15 magazines. Uh, many are in use by the military and military contracts as well. So that's pretty awesome that they're you know, providing you know, mags to various law enforcement agencies as well. And really just all over the place because it's an excellent magazine that they're manufacturing. There's so much to talk about. Uh, we are going to look at some guns, but I just wanted you to understand like that this is a total gun shop in terms of everything that you could possibly want uh, from gunsmithing stuff to accessories, ammunition, cleaning, gun care, you name it, even first aid. I mean, there's kind of like some outdoorsy and kind of prepping and survival type stuff on the wall as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's go over here and look at a few firearms. All right, guys, we're going to look at a couple of guns. And one thing I want to mention about the actual gun area, you know, of the showroom is that they were looking for a very open and accessible type of experience for a person to come in and check out guns off the street. Nothing over here is locked up with the exception of a few kind of high end pistols and things, but nothing is really locked up. You can just reach uh, out, grab it, check it out, look at it. If you've got a question, somebody will come over and help you with it. Same thing with handguns, you'll see in a moment, all the handguns are out, they're accessible. You can grab it, put your hands on it. You don't have to ask for somebody to grab it out of a counter for you. Everything is completely open and accessible to the consumer. And I think that was a smart move on their part because they wanted everybody to feel welcome and they want everybody to be able to come in and just immediately access what they want and grab what they want, check it out and just get their hands on it and have that kind of really open and, and easy going uh, shopping experience, which I think is pretty cool. I, I can't think of many uh, places I've been to that are quite like that. All right, guys, I wish we could spend an hour over here talking about guns, but unfortunately I don't have a lot of time to spend here. Uh, but I think you guys get the idea. I mean, they're definitely full service in terms of the amount of firearms that they offer and everything like that, which is awesome. They've got a lot of interesting used and new ones in stock, which is great. I mean, anytime you go in a gun store, you want to check out used inventory and everything. At least I, you know, I do. The first thing I do is I look at odd and obscure used firearms whenever I go into a gun store. So that's awesome that they have that. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the ordering system, which is kind of funny. You'll, you'll be surprised when you see, uh, you know, how the ordering system actually 
kind of works and everything. So let's go over there and check that out. All right, so we're not gonna physically order anything right now because we're definitely strapped for time here, but something I wanna show you is that the way you order when you come in here to the retail store is just like you order online. Literally, they have these computer kiosks set up, which is kind of neat. You go through and select the products you want. You check out just like you would online, and it creates uh, basically kind of a little work order or worksheet. It gets sent to the back, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. They pick your order, and then it goes down a conveyor belt, spits it out right here. And one of the interesting things is the difference between coming in here uh, you know, in person and buying online is that when you're uh, here in person, you, you don't actually have obligation to buy the product when it comes up front. So let's say that you bring in your 1911 and you wanna look at 20 sets of grips. Well, you can go on here and order 20 sets of grips. And if they're in stock, they'll send all 20 sets out here. And the staff at Brownells will, if necessary, let you, you know, swap every single pair of those grips to try out. And you can go, all right, this is the pair of grips I want. And they'll send the other 19 grips back and then you can buy only what exactly you want. All right, so when your order is placed, basically what happens is it gets sent to a computer system and the computer system actually takes the order and converts it, converts the information into a bin basically. So the bin has a label on it and then that label's information is associated with that order. And it's really crazy the way it works. So this facility has like basically three stories to it and all the products get automatically routed through the conveyor belt system and that and because of the the number that's associated with the order and the bin the conveyor system automatically tells the bin where to go based on the product that needs to be put in the bin so without boring you that whole process the orders are picked and pulled and within about 15 minutes they get put on another conveyor that takes them out to the showroom and then they call you and let you know your order's ready so interesting thing is that the process that these orders are picked and pulled is exactly the same as when they are when they're gonna ship the item. It's just the only difference is where the bins wind up. So like if the order's being shipped out, then it winds up over in the shipping department. If the order is just gonna stay on the floor out in the retail room, then it goes to the retail room. And all of that uh, processes are automated based on the way this conveyor system is set up with these labels on these bins. That's pretty uh, interesting the way it all operates and to see how big this system is, it's just crazy. When you order something, you don't think about what it takes to get to you and why it gets to you so fast. That's why, because it's a very efficient system. All right, we're hanging out right here. I'm sitting on this giant roll of aluminum sheeting. Each of these rolls eventually is gonna be 20,000 AR-15 magazine bodies. So I thought that was interesting to show you just the sheer like volume of raw materials and product and things that actually are processed through this facility is just staggering. I mean, you can see behind me, all of that is product and individual bins of different SKUs and things that people are picking and drawing. So uh, we definitely want to thank you for watching today's video. This was really meant to be kind of just a quick look. Uh, we were kind of stretched for time today. Uh, this wasn't meant to be like a complete gun tour or showing off every single piece and every nut and bolt. Uh, but definitely thanks for your time. And uh, we thought that this would be interesting to show. Uh, you know, we're here in Grinnell, Iowa, right off I-80 here. I don't get out to this part of the world very often. So we thought that while we were out here, we take the time to show the place off a little bit. It's really cool to see Brownells kind of taking that step and uh, kind of stepping forward. I mean, it, it's definitely a big step forward, um, you know, for Brownells because it's a brand new facility. They just built it. It's brand new, brand spanking new, like a little baby. And, it, you know, we've actually gotten a pretty solid tour and they showed us around uh, the facilities and there's just so many awesome aspects to the way that they do business here and the way they treat their employees. It's very, very refreshing and I'm, I'm very happy to see it. So uh, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Stay tuned, many more things on the way. We'll catch you next time.